You can keep your head when all about you are losing theirs. Scott Waits has done just that. From 4-1 down, it's a straight one-set shootout with Bartons for a place in the semi-finals. I wonder where the commentators think this would rank in all-time quarter-final comebacks. Well, it's an absolutely splendid effort so far from Scott Waits. If he can pull this off, it would be remarkable. If you're thinking of taking the dog for a walk or something, just wait. If you're thinking of going and making dinner, just wait. This is quite brilliant. It's four apiece, and as Lord comebacks Lord go, Lord it is quite Lord remarkable. Lord Very good indeed. There's a little bit of deja vu about this because I've mentioned before that Waits has done this before. Back in 2016, when he won the title, in round two, he trailed Hertha Voss 3-0 in sets, won the match 4-3. In the quarterfinals, he was 4-2 down to Glenn Durant and won 5-4, which, in my opinion, is one of the most dramatic quarterfinals I've ever seen at Lakeside. And this one certainly is right up there, though. And Barton's... Maybe it's lack of experience, maybe he can still get across the line. But he's under the cosh, unquestionably. And the tide, the darting tide, would seem to be going with the man from Alland. Just see the throw of both guys, really. There's a bit more shoulder in the third dart. Just tension in the arm. Tension in their minds as well. Waits has six darts from here. Barton's not on a finish. A great opportunity for an immediate break for the Yorkshireman. We have to remind you as well, tie-break rules oh, apply Sorry, in this. No problem. <laughs> Got to win by two clear legs in this last set. Didn't mean to leap all over your, leap all over your wise you. words there. Absolutely no problem, because that really was sensational darts from Scott Waits just when he needed it. 82. 17 to leave tops for the break of throw. 62. Any unit while One treble needed for this combination. Treble 17 is a must. Went next door. It's looking very good for Waits to get a break in his first leg. Double 10. That's a good marker, but he's having to move. Yes! Waits gets the break. And he's a big favourite now. What a turnaround Second we are contemplating and visualising. Can he carry it through? You see those two stars on the upper left portion of his shirt as he wears it. 54. That symbolises two Lakeside World Championships. How much does he want a third to join a very <laughs> illustrious group? Well, whoever beats this fella, they're going to have to, metaphorically speaking, oh, nail him down. Another maximum, he's number 12. Let's not forget, John, Andy Barton's had match darts. He could have been in the practice room now for a period of something like half an hour. He's got to put all that sort of thought away from him. He can't allow that to fester in the back of his mind because what has gone, you cannot change. What matters is what is immediately ahead. That's a very loose dart. Good third one, though. Very good recovery after a very slippery five. But Waits just doesn't seem to be relenting on this treble 20. Another 180? Almost. 12 180s in this match for Waits. That's a heavyweight performance on the 60. 19. So 68. Barton's back on 126. 20 to leave, double 18. Double 18 now to go 2 0. Just the wrong side of the wire. Another 120 plus check out to save his skin. Treble 19 required for the bullseye. The line was perfect, but he just needed a little bit more climb on it. Yeah, just died in the last centimetre or two. Double nine for White. One double four. 
double four for 2-0. Oh, my goodness. What an important miss. Nine for double eight. Double four now for himself. And he gets it. And he wipes his eyes. He can't believe it, but it's definitely in, Andy. The drama is just getting more and more intense with missed doubles. So a break each in this deciding set, the ninth set. And remember, whoever wins it has to win by two clear legs. If it gets to five all, sudden death. That's your rules. Is Andy Barton's getting a bit tired up there? I know he's only 28, but this is mentally draining what he's going through right now. Mentally draining watching it, never mind playing it. You good dart. You get the adrenaline from all of the good stuff. But when the adrenaline, the adrenaline comes out of your body later in the day, it's almost unbearable. Especially if you've lost the match. This is a big opportunity for Waits. That 45 gives another breakthrough chance. Needs another travel, can't find it. Crowd are loving it. Fellow players well, sitting in the crowd are enjoying this as it goes all the way. Feel he needs another 60, which he gets. A third will be awesome! <laughs> massive, absolutely massive. Good dart. He needs a bullseye now to hold his throw. With weights poised, and he's just the wrong side of the wire. So, so close for yet another break of throw in this final set. It's double 18. Can he? The crowd anticipates, so do we. But he can't get it. I think he thought it was in, just the wrong side of the wire. Double eight now for Bartons to take the lead. He does. Well done, Andy Bartons, 2-1. And if he gets another leg now, He's won the match, waits at the position where he simply has to take this leg. Got to give a bucket load of credit to Andy Bartons, just to summon up the strength after so many lost sets in a row. But look what he's made of. 4.42 waits, he's trailing. Needs to hit that treble, and he can't. Is this going the way of the Belgian now? It certainly could be. He's absolutely battering that 60 in this leg. Putting all the pressure on Waits. Waits needs another one. Gets another one. Gives him a slight chance of staying in the leg, but it's all about the Belgian and what he does from here. That was a nervy first dart. 81 lunged at it with the third he does that at the end of matches when it gets a bit sticky just hoping it goes in 81. oh that luckily leaves him a finish but it's a big one this is for the match 145 65. he's already had match darts is he gonna put it away this time will he get the chance two trouble 19s will not be hit so Bartons should guarantee himself 89. one dart Can for the match, if 18. not two. 20s he's looking at. Another one needed. Now tops. This is for the match. 16. That is the wrong side of the wire. Welcome back, King. Can you save your skin once more? Trouble 17. Now it's tricky. Two double 18s. He had to do it. 23. Double ten, three darts now to clinch it. And His greatest supporter, Jackie, watching on. Is the dream going to be fulfilled? Double ten. Oh, he's missed it! You can't get any closer! Wow. I thought it was all over. So did she, so did he. 
So did he. It may not be over if Scott hits double 16. Yeah, it's in there! It's 2-2 two -two in the final set. Marco Meyer is going to tell us what we do next. The final set has to win by two player lengths. If the score reads 5 all, the 11th lap will be set up back. Fifth flag, it's Andy Nato first. Game on. What a game. What a game. And he was absolutely champing at the bit to get on with it. Andy Barton's. While Scott Waits chilled out with a sip of water. Great start. How many lives has Scott Waits got? He's definitely a cat, isn't he? Big one. Good start in this leg from Waits. A brilliant 140 to back up the previous one. Pressure on the Belgian once again. What a time, what a time to get back to back 140s. Good response. But Waits is in the box seat now. Six darts from here. And he continues to wang it into that treble 20. What a dart! 14 maximums. And the break beckons now. Bonds with good darts, but Waits can break right now and put himself in the box seat with another double 16. A double he doesn't miss! He's 3 to up and he's one leg away now! Barton's misery could be compounded in the next couple of minutes. What a game! One of the greatest comebacks we've ever seen at Lakeside is now becoming potentially reality. He just needs to hold his throw here. And Andy Barton's dream is over, and Scott Waits, the former champion, will have prevailed. What a match. The coolest man in the building right now is Scott Waits. He's not a bead of sweat in that forehead. He's just plodding along, doing what he's doing. This is not easy to do, I assure you. He's making it look very, very simple. The words from Paul Nicholson, a man who knows exactly what pressure is all about up there. Bartons is still in there, but Waits, with the throw, will be on a finish. No, he won't be on a finish. He's missed with that last dart, 176. So Bartons now, six from here. Needs a treble. Not that one, though. They're both on bogey numbers. Waits has got six from 176. And that's a good dart. And another one. Great time to fire in a 140. Unbelievably, Scott Waits is coming back to the board for double 18 to go through to the semi finals of the Lakeside World Championship 2018. That's one miss for the match. He's got it! He has got it! The crowd go wild! You have to feel sympathy for the young Belgian who played superbly and gave absolutely everything. But that is one of the great comebacks that we've seen here on this iconic darting stage. It's celebration for Scott Waits, misery for Andy Bartons, who's trying to fight back tears. He really thought that he was going to win it. He had matched darts, couldn't put them away. And Scott Waits remarkably comes back. He is the winner. Misery for Bartons and absolute delight for Scott Waits. He was outstanding there. He looked as though he had finished. Everybody thought so, but he kept on believing and he kept on. And his chances of winning this title once again are still alive. What a dramatic match. Waits wins it by four. Incredible sporting drama live here on Channel 4. A standing ovation for both men. What heart, what drama, and what a response to pressure. Waits marches into the semi finals. Amazing.
what composure from the two-time world champion. Down and out from 4-1, Andy Barton's so many darts for what would have been the biggest win of his life. But he was too hotty for the Belgian, and he is up here, and it was a guard of honour for Scott Waits as he made his way up the stairs. First question, you've won this twice before, but surely the manner of that comeback must make that rank as one of your all-time performances. Yeah, certainly. Um, I think I were 4-1 down in that game, and, you know, I never thought I was, I'd give it up. I always battled to the end, and that's uh, another game that I've, you know, that, to be honest, Andy were absolutely awesome the first few sets. He was absolutely awesome. I couldn't keep up with him. And then I started playing a little bit better and started my doubles, and it tied suddenly changed. Well, at the end of the seventh, it looked like it was all over because Barton's had match darts here. And at this stage, you must have been thinking, well, OK, quarterfinals, I'm gone. But somehow you maintain your composure. How do you stay calm in these moments? It's not something you can practice, to be honest. You've got to just take a deep breath before you go up there and then hold it and then <laughs> hope for the best. We lived every single second of that. And then in the ninth set, in the fourth leg, he had three darts and again, it looked like it was over. He's shaking his head here in disbelief. Unbelievable. Paul, sum up from a commentary point of view. You were sitting alongside John. We were, we were loving every single second of that. Sum up from your point of view, from the position of a fellow pro, what this guy just achieved. It's incredible when you go through that. I, I've been through some comebacks in my time, but for some reason you're able to do it not once, twice, three times. You just, this is how you do it. Does the fact that you've been through this before against Glenn Durant and against Gerd De Vos, did it help give you the belief that you could still do it? The more these games you play, the more experience you get, and you've just got to just hope your opponent misses. Today, and Andy, he was by far the better player in my eyes. I started off so slow. He missed, load, like you say there, loads of chances. I should be out now, but if you don't take your chances in the double, you don't win. But the way that you played in the final couple of sets particularly, you said to me just before we came on air that you played that game back to front, but the way you played in those last two sets, you've got to be really, really positive going into the semis now. It's always hard. It's half past 12, and you've got to try and get yourself up for the game of darts. You know, I like a bit of a lie in bed in the morning, not come out and, uh, you know, prepare yourself for the game of darts at half 12. Scott, it takes two to make a fantastic match, and there must be a little bit of sympathy from you towards Andy. A great effort from the debutant, and we can see, as he walked back in, just how much that match took out of him and how much that defeat has hurt him. It was a great effort from him against you, a two-time champion. Yeah, don't get me wrong. I, I do think Andy was a better player today, and he didn't win. Um, he, he, well, you can say that all, all day, can't you? I mean, I hit the winning double, didn't I? And Andy couldn't hit that winning double. That was the only difference. It was an incredible performance from you. And hard luck to Andy Bartons, who will have earned a whole legion of supporters here from the manner in which he tested Scotty too hotty. I hope he's not too disconsolate backstage with Danny. Andy, I mean, your emotions post-match showed just how much that meant to you. But I think you've acquitted yourself amazingly on this lakeside stage. And as debutant, I think it's fair to say you've got a legion of fans out there now. Yeah, I think so. I played a brilliant game. It was a good game. Scott is a very good player. Scott, for, Scott goes to win it, I think. You, you knew that, you know, Scotty knows that stage. He's been out there in many epic battles before. You knew you'd have to take it to him in the early sets. And when you went 2 0 up, you must have really felt you had the scruff of the neck on that one. I know Scott is a very good player. I must play very, very well for beat him. Scott beats me. That's the game. But as a debutant on that stage, we talk so many times about how that stage can really unnerve players. But every time you've stepped on that stage, you've played some amazing darts. And, and I know at the moment it probably doesn't feel like it, but your future looks great in this sport. I think uh, I played very well on this stage. I will be back, I think. 
I think you will certainly be back and I think there's a whole lakeside crowd out there that can't wait to see you come back again. Well done, Andy. That was a fantastic battle. Thank you very much. Well, Andy won't be back this year. You will be. Any preference at this stage, whether you take on Glenn in semi-final Saturday or Jim Williams, or at this point, maybe you just don't care? Um, to be honest, I'm not too fussed who I play. Um, Jim beat Glenn over in the Saturday down in uh, December. So, you know, Jim's got one up on Glenn. I'm not sure he'll have all his own way on that stage against Glenn, though, today. So, I'm not bothered. One of them two has got to come and play me now. So, I've done my bit. Let them two do their bit. Scott, on behalf of everybody who enjoyed that match, thank you for providing a moment of pure sporting drama. We will see you tomorrow for semi-final Saturday. Thanks very much. One live match down here on Channel 4, which means two more still to come.